Hey, how you doing? Uh, this is Science in a Second with Jacob, and here I am, Mr. Jacob. Hey, ready to talk to you, teach you a little bit about some science going on here. Hey, uh, if you ever sit there and wonder why when you're out with your friends, you're playing basketball and you're playing football, baseball, man, you just, you're ready to go, 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 go. Later on that night, you just get tired, you get something to eat, lay down, wake up, you're ready to go again. I've got the answer for you today. It started back in the 1800s. Had two guys, Mr. Holmholtz and Mr. Jewell, a little German physicist and a little English physicist. They got together and they were talking, hey, man, um, you ever notice all this stuff going on? And they both said, hey, yeah, man, what's going on? And they started digging around. They started watching people full of energy. And they said, you know what? You know, I think there's something to this. So they invented this little law called the first law of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics states energy cannot be created nor destroyed. And if it cannot be created nor destroyed, it only goes into other forms of, of energy. They kind of figured it out. They, they did what they had to do until they figured it out. Well, I'll tell you what that does. That basically leads into this right here. The sun comes down. You got all these little rays of the sun coming down. and get into our grass. get into our vegetables and whatnot. And plants are a thing called autotropes. Autotropes, what that means is they pretty much make their own food and make their own energy source out of the, sun, out of the rays of sun. They use what they have to make what they need. And when well, they turn around, they do this little thing called photosynthesis, and we're not going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about it at a later time and a later date, and the videos and the, the link should be up shortly. that will go to that, and that'll be our photosynthesis uh, link. Um, well, the plants, they keep doing their thing, and it goes a different with it, what it has to do, and to make the energy, the energy gets stored into the plants. Well, then all these little these animals come by, they come through, and they turn around to eat the leaves, they eat the uh, the grass. And they're a thing called herbivores. What the herbivores do is that's all they eat is grass. That's all they eat is leaves. And they do what they do, and they come through and do all their different things. And that energy gets transferred, transferred, keyword there, transferred from the plants and the grass. It plants transfers into the, the, the animals. And, and the energy goes into their body, into their muscle structure, and makes them do what they do and gives them energy. Well, we humans are a thing that we call Omnivores. Omnivores eats, eats vegetables and plants, and also as well as the, the animals as well. And we get the, the energy transferred to us through that. And that's how we end up getting our energy through ATP. We get our ADP and different forms of energy into our body. And we have the energy to go to what we want to do until all that energy is expelled. And it's expelled through heat. We expel energy by that form, and therefore it goes back up into the, up into the air. We can't even see it. It's just everywhere. And that's how we end up losing heat, losing energy. And when we lose energy, the only way we got to get it back, yep, you guessed it, was the plants and, and the, the vegetables and the different things that your mama always tries to make you eat and the, the green stuff and the, and the hamburgers and, and different things that we eat. That's where we get it back. So basically it boils down to this right here, what your mom always told you when you was a little kid that you're basically a little rays of sunshine. Hey, she told you the truth. It comes from the sun, goes to the plants, goes to you. That's what we are. Hey, that's a few minutes with the Science with Jacob. And I am Mr. Jacob, Dr. Waters. I want to thank you, Dr. Matthew Waters, for the help and the innovation of coming up with some of the, coming up with this. And have a good time. Till the next video. Here I am, Jacob. Have a good day.